Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to update your MSI motherboard drivers using Live Update 6. To start off with, first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on Download Live Update 6 and you then need to go Save File. As you can see on the website, it does say it will update the drivers for your motherboard. It will also update the BIOS and it will also offer other utilities. Once the file has finished downloading, you now need to simply open up the folder, the zip folder, and you then need to drag the file out of the zip folder onto your desktop. You then need to open up the folder and you then need to double click on the Live Update 6 and you then need to go OK. You now need to go Next and you now need to read the terms and conditions and then press Accept when you agree and then press Next. You now need to go Next again to install it on your C drive. If you want to install it in a different location then go ahead and press Browse and select a different location. Once you are happy you can go ahead and press Next and then Install. Once Live Update 6 has finished installing, you can go ahead and launch the program. I'm just going to untick the bottom option here because I don't want to subscribe to the newsletter. We can then go ahead and press finish. And you then need to press OK if you agree to the terms of use. And also it's a good time just to mention when it comes to updating the BIOS or the motherboard drivers, you could end up encountering problems. So it's not always recommended you update your motherboard. But also at the same time, it could even fix problems that you may be having with your motherboard. So I'm just going to say now, updating your motherboard is at your own risk. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Once Live Update 6 has opened, this is what it will look like. And at the bottom straight away, you will notice it will have information about your computer. We can now go across to Live Update and you then need to make sure Automatic Scan is selected and then press Scan. It will now scan to see what drivers are available for your PC and as you can see there are actually quite a few options for my machine. I have some Realtek drivers there, I can also install an AMD chipset driver. If I scroll down a little bit more we have lots of different little things but just be careful because like at the bottom for example it's offering to install the Google Drive and Norton Security I don't want any of that I just want to focus on drivers which are the free options at the top because they say MB driver you can always select manual scan and then select the MB driver option only if you do want to scan for drivers only you now need to select what you would like to install. For example, I want to install the drivers. I'm going to go ahead and select the Realtek driver there and the AMD chipset driver and then the Realtek network driver. You then need to select Total Installer and it will begin to download the drivers and then install them. And there we go. As you can see, it's now installing the drivers. Once the drivers have finished installing, you will then need to restart your computer. And that is it. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum.